Now here are my big questions. I have three big questions that are spoilers, and these all pertain with the finale of the show. So this is your last warning to like, go away if you have not seen the show. Number one is, was Moldaver actually evil? Now, once we find out that Hank was the true villain of the story, and he was the evil man behind a lot, not exactly everything, it was kind of like, you know, the boardroom and everything, I think to myself, like, whoa, was Moldaver actually evil? They never really explained that, and I hope that's explained in the next season. We also then have this moment where I start to think, like, whoa, is the ghoul somewhat of an, an anti-hero? Because he tracks Moldaver down, but then he ends up tracking Hank down, because Hank is there alive, and he ends up helping Lucy. It's not something that the ghoul would do or at least the ghoul that we see in prior episodes. So, I don't know. Was Moldaver actually evil? Or was it all a big manipulation scheme against really everybody? My second question is, did Lucy turn the ghoul into a heroic character? Because in the end, like I said, the ghoul is helping Lucy and shoots Hank. Now, he doesn't kill Hank and says that we can track him easier. And I think that's kind of just like an excuse for season two. But whatever, and I think he actually might have a more brutal way of trying to kill Hank and maybe get some answers out of Hank. Now, of course, the ghoul is somewhat evil, but going forward, will his arc let him transform into the loving family man before the bombs? Or maybe just like the cowboy of all the films that he was in? Honestly, if they took time with it and well developed it, him as a character throughout the next seasons or maybe like the next two or three i don't know how many they're planning but throughout the series and then at the end we see him return to maybe just an anti-hero maybe he he's good but he you know he kills people and he's not he's a little bit more aggressive like one of those kind of good guys but he's still that cowboy or maybe he goes back to the pacifist cowboy who is using his voice in the studio to be like i'm not going to shoot this guy in the head on film but then of course does it anyways because they kind of owned him will he become that hero cowboy of the films but you know now he just is a ghoul i don't know i would really love to see that though my final question i have is will lucy turn evil yeah will lucy turn evil and also i guess a fourth question is maximus going to betray the brotherhood when he finds lucy to settle down and live the american dream and have a family with her Lucy, of course, shoots her mom, but I think it was just to put her out of the misery and also to put herself, Lucy, herself out of misery of seeing her mother. But she couldn't kill her father, even though she was angry at the ghoul afterwards for not killing her father and just letting her father escape. Now, I think she actually is a good person, but I think in the coming seasons, and the coming episodes we will see that she realizes she needs to kill some people the evil people in particular if she wants the world to return to a peaceful normal state and with maximus i wonder about him as a character all over the place really because that final scene where they make him the head honcho of the brotherhood it makes him one of the most compelling characters. And in the prior episode where he becomes honest and everything, it just makes him such more of a compelling character. And I think that the path that they're setting up for him will be very, very interesting. So I am really excited for season two. Now, some things that I do have to say is that I hope Hank dies in the next season and Mr. House becomes the big bad. I'm hoping that Hank dies like halfway through the season and it's like a cool way of killing him and it's something that feels well deserved. And in the next season, I hope that we get answers to vaults 31, 32, and 33 because really my only critique of the entire show was dragging along that entire plot line. I felt like we were moving like a snail throughout that plot line and I'm hoping that we get answers and that gets resolved sooner than later. But overall, I highly recommend you watch the Fallout show, and I honestly would give it a 10 out of 10, which is something that I don't give to a lot of shows. I could say that for season one of Stranger Things, but not two, three, or the others. And I definitely can't say it about a lot of films. I could say it about Star Wars Episode 5, but 
I don't know, I would have to really think about some shows and movies that I would give a 10 out of 10. But overall, Fallout is a 10 out of 10, and please go and watch it.